What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in Kanchi. I'm using one mod at the moment, that's Shidan's interior and exterior design, which is a really, really cool mod. If you're interested and you'd like to go check it out, just go look down in the description. Everything will be there for you. All right, you guys, we finally made it back to Mongrel. Minus one bull. The bull died. Rip the bull. He died in the last episode. I don't know if you guys noticed, but by the end of the last episode, he was dead. <laughs> All right, we've got to do a little bone dog shuffling here quickly before we get on the move. All right, drop him, would you? No, which one is it? Lunch meat, drop him. All right, pick him up. Bring him out here. These, for some reason, they can't get through the door. Don't know why. I think it's a, a little bug we've got at the moment. Put him down. Pick him up. What's going on down there? We'll find out in a minute. All right, you go for a nap. Good. Let's pick him up. Wow, that was an intense trip through the fog, you guys. Um, Rat Boy's got PTSD. I don't know what to tell you. Beep should be around here. Beep was here when we left. Let's go see if we can find Beep. I'd like to recruit Beep. I really thought he was trying to mug me, or he was... There's definitely something wrong with him, but I thought he was a bad guy. Apparently not. Let's see if I can find him. Beep? Maybe he's in the bar. Maybe he's left again, damn it. Uh, where are all your guests? Slim pickings around here today. Alright, show me what you have. Yeah. I'm not... What can I sell to this guy? Skeleton muscles, maybe. Yeah. How much money do we have? 38,000 cats. It's selling the skeleton muscles. Ah, uh, shopkeeper can't afford that. You can't afford the power core either, buddy. Generator core? Can he afford that? No. He can afford the electrical components, but we need those. What about these? Ninja Blade. Katana class 0.72. I've picked these up somewhere. Sell value 2097. 1700. That should do it. Yes, give him that. <laughs> How much money now? Forty-two thousand. All right, we're getting there. We're getting we're getting back up to the top, you guys. We really need to save some money. You guys know how it is. As soon as you make some money, you find something you could spend it on. That's what happens. Uh, where are all the bar guests? Totally weird. Trade with me. Let's do business, buddy. 3,400. Yeah, you'll take that. You'll take that. It's a steal. 1,300 left. Yeah, you're not going to take anything else, are you? Open it. What is that? How much is this generator thing worth? Motor. 300. Eh, give it to him. Alright, cool. I think we're really, really hungry right now. Yeah, Rat Boy's pretty hungry. Maybe we should go cook some steaks. We could buy food, but... We've got so much raw steak in our in our pants. <laughs> we might as well just cook it. We're gonna need to do it at some point anyway. Do 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 do. Do we own this still? Or, no, we don't own it. We used to own that. I don't know what happened. One day we just stopped owning it. <laughs> don't you hate it when that happens? Oh, those torches are still down there. It looks like there's more of them now. I don't want to go anywhere near that place. Oh, what are we here for? All right. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do it. All right, you get busy with that, Red Boy. Let's see what else is going on around Mongo. I saw a bunch of numbers earlier, which means people were losing hit points. But I didn't see anything going on right now. Who this? Shinobi Guard. He's such a badass looking dude. Look at this guy, man. Yes. They do not play, these Shinobi Guards. They really, really do not play. It doesn't look like there's much violence going on now. It must have been these small group of fogmen here. Yeah. That's who it must have been. How's the staking incoming? coming? 
Yes, good. Have you eaten? No, you have not. Take that. Take that. Eat it. Good. Keep going. Damn it, Beep's not here. I'm sad. Nobody's here. Where are all, where are all the people that are supposed to be in the bar? Who that? Who are you? Beep! Buddy! Come on, Rap Boy, let's go talk to Beep. Beep! Ha! Look at his face. What's wrong with your head, Beep? You were born funny, huh? Uh... Hi, Beep. <laughs> it was just a guess. Sorry I beep when I'm nervous. <laughs> He's cool. They exiled me from the hive. Just because you keep saying beep? <laughs> Don't blame them. That's so mean. I'm not going to say that. I am defective. Not good for the hive. Aw, oh, dude. Poor guy. But Beep doesn't give up. Beep is strong. I like it. Since I left the hive, I can feel my mind changing. The way I think. I feel free. Having thoughts I never had before. I want freedom, but everywhere I go, things try to kill me or chase me. Dude, I know how you feel. We're in the same boat on that one. Jeez Louise. Beep tires of running. Time to stab things that chase me. Yes, Beep, you've got the idea. You'll fit right in, dude. Sigh, another weak nobody. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Great, even better. <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Beep. Welcome aboard. All right. I've heard rumors that you don't listen too well. Or you seem okay now. Wow, Beep's really, really weak. We, yeah. Whoever said they had to carry Beep back home, I think I'm probably going to have to do the same thing. He's like one everything. Poor Beep. What are his stats like? Oh. <laughs> Why can't he mass combat? What is mass combat? I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. Hmm. He's got some training to do. All right, we got some work to do on Beep. Poor Beep. How's his health looking? He's fine. Okay, cool. We got a beep. Let's take a closer look at you, buddy. These hivers always look really happy. <laughs> That's just the way their face is. Let's go to the Thieves Guild and see what we can garner. You guys wait there. Come on, buddy. Sometimes there's some pretty cool stuff for sale in here. Who are you? Thief. Who are you? Uh, shopkeep? No shopkeep today. Where the hell is everybody? Mongol's super quiet today. Who are you? Shinobi trader. You're the guy. You remember, eh? Well, unless you actually enjoy the inside of a jail cell, knock that shifty look off your face. I can spot you a mile off. Anyway, down to business. What do you got for me? Uh, let's trade. What do you have? This stuff is not great. I'm wasting my time here, aren't I? How much can I sell you this for? You're selling this for how much? Everything's standard grade, nothing's great. Nothing's great, dude. Nothing's great. I can build everything everything here better than it is right now. How much is this worth? You'll give me 13 cats for my gas mask? Dude, you're dreaming. How much money do you have? 25,000. Great. You're paying. You're paying. Yes, 47,000 cats. That's way better, you guys. Way better. What is this? Electrical components. Generator core. 980 cats. It seems like a ripoff. Seems like it should be worth more. These. CPU unit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he can't afford them all. I just made so much money. Thank you, loot. Thank you, loot. This is great. 67,000 cats. Let's party. Where's Beep? Let's buy Beep some clothes. 
All right, what do you got going on, buddy? Let's have a look. Beep's inventory. Oh, that's not looking great. All right, rat boy, give Beep a bag. That'll at least take a load off of Beep. I mean, off of Rat Boy. Right, you trade with him. Uh, that's really important stuff in there. What's in here? Um, that's fine. You take this for now. Good. Good times. These are all very nice weapons. I don't want to give one to Beep, but he doesn't have anything right now. Let's just... You're going to give that back as soon as we get home. I just want you to know that. Let's be clear. Alright, Beep. Here's your allowance. Go shopping for some clothes. Don't spend it all at once. You know me, I'm Beep! I've been here for weeks, irritating the crap out of you! Beep! <laughs> Show me your goods. Ooh. Research already known, already known, already known, already known. Ah, rusty chainmail. Right click to learn. I don't. I don't want rusty chainmail. I don't want that. Uh, what? What pants? What pants do you prefer, Beep? Padded cargo pants. And don't we have any sneaky chain? Wow, specialist grade drifters leather pants. That's pretty weird. Pretty weird. Padded cargo pants, shoddy grade, mm, high grade, mm, very expensive. We shouldn't spend s worn out shorts. Jeez, that's in case you came in here naked. All right, let's put the padded cargo pants on the beep. Let's give this guy these. Rad. And what do you want on your head? There's nothing for your head, beep. Yeah, this stuff's all quite expensive. I don't I don't want to spend a lot of money on Beep's first clothes. How much is this? 534,000. Damn, that's a good leather vest. Good grief. This is a little way too expensive. Beep's not wearing a shirt right now just because of this. Drifter's boots. And yeah, they're going to make you slow, buddy. They're going to make you slow. All right, thank you for your time. Off to the next off to the next store, weapon store. We don't need it. General store, we don't really need it. Let's go to the backpack guy. Let's go to the camping store. See what he has to say. Alright, dude. Beep, we're gonna turn you into a monster, dude. We're gonna give you we're gonna give you the Raptor Clan treatment. Maybe he'll be our new ninja. Or maybe he'll go he'll go do some ninja training for a while. I think that's like some basic training. I think that's a good idea. If you need basic training, the ninjas are the people to go see. Uh, yes, show me your goods. Show me your goods. I know I'm Beep and I've been here a million times before, but now I have money. Because I roll with the rat boy. Uh, drifter's boots. Research already known. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Alright, I'll take a pair of these. Oh, I can't wear shoes because I got funny little hooves. I'm a hooved thing. We don't need anything in here. Away with you. Backpack merchant. Yeah, weapons he doesn't need. The clothes are pathetic. Eh, all, all Beep needs right now is pants. And he's carrying one of the bags, so that's great. Actually, let's get Beep... Let's get Beep to... To cook all this meat. That should raise his cooking skill a little bit. Which is zero. Is he gonna, like, burn all the meat? Come on, buddy. Good. You what? I didn't ask you to do that. Uh, don't burn the dog, please. Yeah, lunch meat's nice and toasty. Lunch meat's becoming lunch meat as we speak. That's gross. How are we doing on this end of the world? We don't really have m much else to trade, do we? We don't have anything else to sell. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. We got enough meats. Uh, we got enough meats to turn Beep into an awesome cook, though. In one day. 
Rat Boy's Marvelous Cooking School. Established Mongrel Day 31. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Come on, beep. Look at that. Cooking stat 1. Best cooking school in the land. Willing to wager the only cooking school in the land. Keep cooking, beep. Man, it's just so nice to not be fighting off Fogman every five seconds. I don't really want to leave Mongrel. I think we just live here now. Anyone who wants to see Rat Boy has to come visit Mongrel. That's that's the only way. That's the only way to do it. Rat Boy's retired to Mongrel. I'm just going to buy one of these big houses and deck it out with the coolest stuff I can find. And this is just where he's going to live now. He wants no part of Fat City anymore. Ugh. <laughs> the commute is hell. The commute to Fat City is hell, you guys. It's only over there. You see that structure on the top of that of that mountain? You know, that's the old farm. That's a, it's not very far. It's not very far at all. Just a hop and a skip. Only the foul things that await us in that valley. Ugh. Hardly bear mentioning. What are you up to? You ill-disciplined thing. What are you doing right now? You've confused me. Where are you going? No, oh, did I did I tell him to go? Good grief! Thank God I saw that. Otherwise, it would have been the end of Beep. That would have been a that would have been a mighty short friendship. I gotta be more careful with that. It's so weird that the dogs can't get through the door. That kind of sucks. Where are the dogs? Where are you guys? You just hang out outside. So you can take them in if you carry them in, and then you have to carry them out again, but they can't get through themselves. Very strange. Never used to be that way. Maybe maybe dogs are not allowed inside. Let's see if they can get in this time. Nope. They just won't get in. Excuse me, this is private property. Can I help you? How rude. Shinobi guard. Dude, just because we're in the same club doesn't mean you can just waltz into my house anytime you like. You don't know who you're messing with, buddy. How's Rat Boy's health? I haven't even checked. Yeah, he's actually still kind of beaten up. Trade with me. Oh, Beep's got no cooked stuff. Beep's... Beep, go away. You go there. You. Go there. Take these. Good. Put him outside. Good! Alright, Rat Boy needs a nap now. <sighs> Looking after number one. Very important. Ah, he's got no damn... ...steaks. Give it all to me. Give it all to the beep. Good. Fine. Keep cooking, buddy. Your training begins right now. <laughs> it's a really, really quiet day in Mongol, too. There's only... Oh, I guess... I guess all the mercenaries are dead because we hired them and they didn't make it. Note to you guys. Before you offer yourselves as mercenaries for very expensive amounts of money, make sure you can fight. Because I had to pull three of your buddies off of poles. They were ready to get eaten by Fogman, and it was serious, guy. I don't even know where they are. One went crazy and ran off in the other direction. Two of them limped back to Mongrel, but I don't see them now. Maybe you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Quiet now, aren't we? Not so mouthy about, uh... Not so mouthy about mercenarying now. Ah. <sighs> It's been months since Rat Boy had a lie down. That wasn't like in the sand. <laughs> With blood leaking out of him. Oh, it's so good. He doesn't even care that the backpack's still on his back. He's that tired. Yes, Beep. You have become my meat servant. Oh, I love Mongrel, you guys. I really love Mongrel. Mongrel's one of the best towns there is. I think I said that in the last episode. Mongrel and World's End and maybe Clownsteady. 
Those are my favorite places, because they're not holy nation places, so like bad stuff goes on in here. It's like Mos Eisley, a wretched hive of scum and villainy and all that, you know? Stuff's happening, it's like a... It's a bit of a shady town, and it's in the middle of the worst place on the map. So, it's also kind of a beacon of light. I, I always feel warm and fuzzy things when I see the gates of Mongrel, when I'm coming from the fog. It's a really, really... Thank God for Mongrel, you guys, or we'd all be dead long ago. That's all I'm saying. Nice parts around here. I kind of want to I kind of want to start going home, but I also don't want to go home because I don't have the strength to go through the fog right now. I'm just enjoying the quiet. I'm enjoying it so much. Rat boy's completely fine. I have no excuse. No excuse whatsoever. What we can do though is we could buy up half of Mongrel. That's for sure. We could buy this place. No problem. That place isn't for sale. I think this is the only other place for sale. Maybe there's a few. Yeah, that's for sale. That's not for sale. What else is for sale? Sell me things. That's for sale. We could have this as some kind of stolen goods storeroom, I suppose, but we're, we're a member of the guild anyway, so... We don't really need that. So you can buy a few more shacks, but you can buy... I kind of want to buy this again for 14 grand. It's just a... Uh, some more fitting lodgings, you know? And you can fit a lot more beds in here, so if we come by with a huge party... Uh... Everyone can sleep in the house, instead of, like, taking turns cramming into this tiny little shack. It's okay for now, though. Eh, we'll hold off on buying that house for the third time, uh, for a little while. Maybe we'll buy it the next time we're in town. <sighs> well, we got Beep on the squad. Beep's great. Beep's cool. I like him. He's, he's a nice guy. I feel sorry for him. He's a simple man, but nice. He's not a bad dude. I'm welcome aboard, Beep. Glad to have you, buddy. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I'm just soaking up the mongrel, baby. <laughs> Not having to fight for my life. It's so great. It's like being on holiday. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!